Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we will be doing an unboxing of Heroes of Normandy, the Big Red One Edition from Devil Pig Games. This is one I'm very excited about. When the original Heroes of Normandy came out in oh, 2014, 2015 or so, I was an early adopter. Uh, had a ton of stuff, had everything. Came up with my own way to play it solo with the Chit Bull, which you can find on the uh, on my Once Upon a Game website. Um, but uh, Eventually let it go because it wasn't, uh, you know, there was no AI. It was just playing against yourself and uh, didn't really work as well that way. But it's all changed with the Big Red One Edition. If you get, and there'll be another uh, video on the solo system for this, but there is a solo system that's been released now with this latest edition that's come out um, that does provide a solo AI for pretty much all the missions in the original and in the Big Red One edition. So uh, it does not work. It only works with the World War II uh, series. It does not work, I don't believe, with the Black Reach Warhammer adaptation. Um, but it does work with the, uh, the basic Heroes of Normandy system. So anyway, let's crack this open, see what you get inside this package. Uh, hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe oh, and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I don't know if it's all going to fit on the screen. It's a huge, huge box. But we will do our best here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, pretty close. All right. So the first thing we get is a scenarios booklet. The rules have also been revised, um, I believe, uh, to 2.0 in this. So they're a lot more clear. They were a little, a little harder to read uh, and understand in the f in the first one. The translation uh, from French to English wasn't as solid as I believe it is now. So that's a good that's a good thing that we have the um, uh, new and improved uh, glossy kind of a magazine stock, as you can see. Um, so this is the scenarios booklet, and this comes with, we have introduction, and then we have a campaign. So we have one, two, three, four, we have six scenarios in the campaign, and a couple of introductory scenarios. So this shows out the rules for the scenarios, how to set them up. How you're gonna how you're gonna translate the scenario notes into you know the various you know initiative markers, uh, turn trackers, things like that, special events that happen, full maps. Uh, it's got a step by step uh, for scenario. Uh, yeah, it's got a it's got a guided walkthrough to understand the rules. So that's pretty cool. Now again, remember the solo does not come with this game. This is a two player game. Uh, or two to four player game, I believe, but uh, the, the solo is an add-on that you can get. Uh, I believe you can get it directly from the Devil Pig website. So if you're like me and you want to play the solo, in fact, see, it's even got the notes here in the rule book for how to play this in solo mode. The AI can play either side. It considers the exit squares its primary objectives. So they have notes in here for the solo. But anyway, so it's only available in Devil Pig. They do have distribution in the U.S., but I've not been able to find the. I was not able to find the solo in the U.S. and had to come directly from from them. So shipping is going to be a little a little wonky there. But uh, they do have a Kickstarter at the moment of this filming for the uh, for a most recent expansion for for Heroes of Normandy, uh, Battle for Kane, I believe it is, and uh, in that I believe you can add on the solo system and get it as you know as part of a. Uh, as part of a Kickstarter, so and you can even pick up this whole system uh, in that as well. So you might look into that. Uh, just do a Google search, or I'll provide a link in this video. So we have the different scenarios, and the scenario booklet comes in at uh, 28 pages, so not very big. There we go, and then we've got the rule book, the new and improved rule book. And it is a lighter 34 page tome. We're going to get elitist in our language. 
So yeah, it's got the rules, covers the units, covers how they all work, covers all the different icons that are on the units, which used to be really confusing and now it's pretty easy. I like how they've adopted the uh, faux tab structure on the side of the rule book to kind of help you find where you are and what you might want to be looking for. Um, I believe uh, Academy did that well with Conflict of Heroes to good effect. And so, uh, there you go. But again, it's full color, lots of pictures, not very dense. Uh, numbered sections, so you can refer to a rule section. And an icon summary on the back, it's very nice. How to recruit and a keyword section as well. There's a reference section. It might be nice if the um, yeah the keyword section here may be reference. I don't see where it references any rule sections to, to give you for more information. Like on force move, it'd be nice if it if it referenced you to the rule section for for forced move, but like the cartoon artwork there, comic book style. So you get the rule book, and now we've got cardboard. There's lots and 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 lots of cardboard. In fact, it's mostly cardboard. All right, so we have first punch board. You'll see with Heroes of Normandy, you'll see a lot referenced as punch boards. If you buy a Gazette expansion, and it's a, it says you get you know, one punch board, which has all these units in it. Most of this stuff is just going to be punched out and stored. Uh, they do have storage systems available if you're into that as well. So this feels like everything's going to fall out as soon as I touch it. So Panzer Grenadier um, force board is here and then you can you know add you get these units that come with it and then you can add you know recruit others. These just punch out but then you can place a unit in here and that gives you that unit. Um, uh, but that's, I'm not teaching how to play the game yet. But I do intend to do a playthrough of this using the new solo system, so I'm looking forward to that as soon as I learn it. They are very thick, very, the one thing they've, they've maintained is this high quality of very thick counters, very large counters. Great top-down artwork, so when you're looking at it on the map, you know, it just, it just gives you a good top-down feel. It's very cool. So this is a German punch board. It appears to be mostly German. You got Otto, the nameless hero. Man's again our dear group. You got some train um, uh, modifiers here. These little sections that they can, you know, uh, emplacements, fortifications they can build up. This here. Then we've got another German punch board here. Helmut, and then various vehicles, various, here's a machine gun team, and, but wait, there's more Germans, no, this is Germans, this is Americans, sorry, my bad, I was going by this gray border, thinking it was going to be green, but I'm missing the green here, so it's obviously the Americans, so then these little grenades, you know, or your counters, based on, you know, I have grenades, so you get two grenades, and then when you use it, you spend one of those. But it's very easy to learn. Once you, once you learn the game, it's, uh, you know, all the, all, everything you need is on the counter for the most part, except for rolling dice and things like that. So, uh, so it's a really fun little system. I'm looking forward to trying out the new rules. It's been a few years since I've played this. Another American sheet. So we're at four punch boards right now. In fact, we lost something here. Got a freely punched punch board here. It's another tile overlay. A little bunker. Where did they come from? Bonus. All right, so I see where it went. So then these are some various tokens. Here's your turn track. This sits by the board and you, you know, put markers on there and track the turns. You've got overlays for your different for those grenades I mentioned. And so this gives you all the information you need for resolving the different 
types of blasts. General Patton. No, excuse me. <laughs> I thought it was Patton. It's George Taylor. And Clint West Forest. Go ahead, make my day. Oh, that sounded a little more like Reagan. And then here's there. Here's where that uh, that unit went. They got these interior buildings that you can take over into. I've got some German Ludwig. And the good thing is there's not a lot of overlap from my understanding between this and the original game. This is not a reprint. This is a new faction, new new um, squadrons, new platoons, whatever, and they um, um, will mesh nicely. Uh, nothing, nothing in the original box does not work with this system, so that's cool. And then we've got our game boards, and these go together geomorphically, so there's squares. And the scenario editor will tell you how to put them together. The good thing is they're numbered, so it's easy to find. 6A, 6B, whatever. Whatever you need. Yeah, 220, 221, whatever it takes. Nice artwork. Again, I like the top-down consistency of this. You have, you'll know, you'll have little areas on the map that have icons on them that let you know that these are blocked or you can't get through them or you can't see through them or they're more difficult, so on and so forth. So that's cool. I believe there's six tiles that come with this. And just a nice empty field. No paths. And then... So you got six boards double-sided, so you got 12 different map sheets. And then, I mentioned there was storage. So if you get the storage system, they give you these stickers that will go with on your storage to help you identify your units, your cards, so on and so forth. You can personalize that. And then we have, each side has two dice. They're engraved on six sides, and then they appear to be uh, heat transfer on the, let's see, that's the six. The faction emblem is the six. Let's do a roll. All right, so we got an eight to a six. So the Germans won that battle. And then you get two bags of order tokens, and so the core function of the game is each side places their order tokens along with some dummies and some blanks, so on and so forth, on the units that they want to potentially activate. They want to activate for uh, fire or move. And then when that phase is done, the rest of the units that didn't get orders will be able to move only. They can't, they cannot uh, do any attacks. But it keeps a little fog of war. So it's gonna be cool to see how that works out with the, uh, with the solo system as well. And then you have, each side has uh, decks of cards, and I forget what they're called. They're the answer is they each have their own custom order deck. So in using these, you play these to do to get different bonuses, and these work with the solo system as well. And they've reduced these. These used to be a seventy card deck. It was kind of unwieldy, but now they're reduced to a fifty card deck for each side. So like play this card to alter the result of a die roll. So these are things you have in your hand that can you know you can use to. Uh, Mitigate some bad die rolls. Play before the movement action of one of your infantry units. Your unit can enter or leave a building through a window. White arrows, unless that would move them in or out of an elevated position. So just various different tactics. You'll have these and you'll draw these throughout the game. So there's a deck for the Germans and a deck for the Americans. So if you pick up a copy of Heroes of Normandy, the Big Red 1 edition. This is part of the Heroes of World War II series. You are going to get those two order decks. You're going to get two pairs of dice, one for each, one pair, one pair for each faction. Uh, six and one, six and two. Hey, America won that one. You're going to get two sets of order tokens, one for each faction. 
You're going to get those stickers to use and just hold on to. If you don't have the storage yet, you can hold on to those for later. You're going to get six very thick, very nice geomorphic mat boards. And you're going to get, to start with, let's see, was it six? Six punch boards of counters, tokens, markers, so on and so forth. You're going to get the new and improved rewritten Heroes of Normandy rulebook 2.0 and the scenarios booklet. And that is everything that comes in. Heroes of Normandy, Big Red One Edition. From Devil Pig Games. We have something on the back here. What is this? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> just as a freebie here, this is the, uh, the back of the box and it's just paper. So uh, the back of the box, so you can see, is actually nice artwork. So. Anyway, that is everything that comes in. Heroes of Normandy, Big Red One Edition by Devil Pig Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!